Maybe you've worked so hard up until this point to get into your desired psycho accredited degree, but because of circumstances, you have no idea how you are going to fund your dreams. While we can all agree that fees must fall, while they haven't, I am here to share with you some bursaries that are available for you to attain your dream towards becoming a chartered accountant. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sinclair, a chartered accountant, CASA. On this channel, I love to share all things chartered accountancy, as well as give you a sneak peek into my own life as a CA. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? So today we're talking about money. As you know, we are in such an unfortunate climate as a country, as a world where tertiary education is at an all time high in terms of expenses. So a lot of the time, most of us, if not all of us probably rely on getting some kind of benefactor or some kind of investment, some kind of outside funding in order to be able to live our dreams. So that's why I felt like it was important for me to compile a list of bursaries that are available to those of you who are wanting to study towards being a chartered accountant. Now, these bursaries are the ones that are currently open, but I do have some that are closed. So if you are interested in pursuing these bursaries, make sure to make note of them so that you can apply early next year. So without any rambling on, let's get into it. So the first bursary that I'm going to talk about is from Old Mutual. It is currently open and the closing date there is on the 30th of September 2024. Now this is for all those individuals that are pursuing to become CASAs specifically. And Old Mutual will also provide you with VAC work during the time that you are studying. So what is covered in this bursary is basically most of the costs of your tuition and accommodation. It also will cover general expenses such as books and flights if you're not studying in your hometown. And you also get a nice general allowance for those miscellaneous expenses that you have as a student. Old Mutual will provide you with support for the duration of your degree. So if you're on a three-year degree, that three years. If you're in a four-year degree, that four years, and so on and so forth. It is, however, limited to these institutions that I have popped up on screen over here. So pause this video so you can make note if the schools that you're looking for are covered by this specific bursary. Now we get to the fun part. How do you qualify for this? So firstly, you have to be a South African citizen. And then in terms of your academics, you either have to option one, have an aggregate of 70% or you need to have a level six, which is 70% for all of your subjects, including mathematics. So for example, ne? if you've got level fives and level sixes and level sevens, and then overall your aggregate is 70%, you qualify, right? Or the second, um, the second example is if all of your subjects are over 70%. Um, then you qualify so it's not an and you know you can have some 60s maybe some 50s as long as your aggregate amounts to 70% you will still apply, you will still qualify for this so your mathematics and English mark needs to be at a level 6 and they do not accept maths literacy unfortunately you also need to commit to participating in the CA training program with Old Mutual. So this means that you will do your articles at Old Mutual. So this means after you've done your studies, you will have a job waiting for you at Old Mutual. All right, so let's move to the next one. The next one that I wanna talk about is EY, Ernest & Young. So this is one of the big four firms and the applications for the bursaries open in August 2024. So make a note of that, please, in your diary. There are two types of bursaries that are available at EY. The first one is academic with financial needs. This one covers accommodation, tuition, books and meals based on your financial needs. The second one is the academic merit bursary 
and this covers tuition you need to be a south african citizen and you have to have a south african id which is valid then in terms of your academics you need to have at least four a subjects so this means four distinctions at the very least and this is excluding life orientation the next criteria that you need to meet is you need confirmation that you will be studying towards a ca degree whether it's three or four years or a cta um, that is psycho accredited so confirmation would be maybe like um a, uh, a conditional acceptance letter maybe a final acceptance offer um, if you're currently studying and say you're in your first year or in your second year um, you would give them maybe proof of registration um, or maybe you'd give them like your academic transcript just to prove that you're actually studying towards a CA program and then the universities that are accepted on the EY program are these that I've stuck here on screen so again make sure you pause the video and make note of the school that you are having your eye on next one is standard bank now this one opened on the 1st of may and it closes on the 30th of september 2024 so this bursary is specific for people who are in the first year of studies who are needing financing from their second year of studies onwards so you need to be already enrolled in an undergraduate program now in order to be selected you need to meet the following as a minimum you need to have an average of at least 65 percent in your latest examinations so you're about to write june exams so as soon as you receive those june exam results then you can apply with those towards this bursary if you are in your first year of study secondly you need to be registered um, for full-time studies so there are going to be some psychometric tests and interviews that they perform on you on this bursary so you need to be ready to um, take part in those and then lastly financial need is also evaluated on all applicants so the bursary funds your accommodation your tuition fees books you get a travel allowance that is equivalent to bus fare four times a year from home to campus you get a monthly stipend to cover you know your living costs and you also get a laptop so this bursary is not just for CASA students it does cover accounting but it also covers a list of other fields within you know finance the next one is PWC, another big four firm. So PWC's bursary opens on 1st of July and closes on the 30th of August. And this is applicable for people who are both already in university and studying towards a CAE degree or those who want to study um, PGDA or CTA or those who are in grade 12 who are wanting to study be towards becoming a chartered accountant. <laughs> Guys! Uh, isn't uh, filming on my phone though my phone overheated so i had to like give it like 15 minutes nyana guys please please watch my ads so i can buy a camera for the channel because uh, child of ghetto but anyways we move it might overheat again and we'll just pick it up where we left off so i think i was speaking about pwc and what they cover in their bursary so they cover your tuition um they cover accommodation books meals as well as living expenses so they use sort of like a formula to calculate how much you will get based on your academic performance as well as your financial need so obviously those students who have a high financial need will probably get a hundred percent covered for all of those costs so you can expect to get a range of 20 to 100 percent covered by pwc of your costs so the requirements here are that you need to be a south african citizen you need to be studying towards becoming a chartered accountant you need to be intending on studying full-time at a psycho accredited institution you have to have a minimum b symbol for maths and english B symbol gives an old way of saying a level six, which is 70% and above. And then overall, you need to have an aggregate of at least 75% 
and they specified that they will not consider maths literacy the next one that i want to speak about is the shoprite group now unfortunately the shoprite group bursary closed on the 30th of april 2024 you can though go and look at the site just to make sure or to see if they've maybe extended it for a little time period but if it is really closed just note it down and keep an eye out next year because it opens in the period of 1st Feb to 30th April. So make sure that on the 1st of February, you go and apply for the thing if you really want the ShopRite bursary. Now, the requirements to get in here is that you need an aggregate of at least 65%. You need to be an SA citizen and you need to already be studying towards becoming a chartered accountant. So this means that um, you're going into your second year or your third year or your fourth year or PGDA slash CTA. So in your degree that you're doing, you need to have a minimum of 65% for accounting, tax and auditing. This only covers those who are 27 years and younger. And it's quite a comprehensive bursary, you know, it covers tuition, accommodation. At the end of it, you have a job guaranteed within the ShopRite group. You also get a monthly grocery allowance and you also get access to the ShopRite employee wellness program, which I think is very good, especially for those who need like um, support in terms of mental health and all sorts of counseling grief counseling trauma counseling and the above you at least get um, a free place where you can get help for all of the things that you will face the next one that i want to speak about is the supreme audit institution auditor general of south africa and their bursary opens every year in august for the following year so the bursary will be awarded to anyone who's intending to study full-time at a psyche accredited institution it's also quite comprehensive it will cover accommodation tuition meals and books and then after you've done all your studies you will be required to serve your articles at the auditor general so let's talk about the entrance requirements first of all you need to be a south african citizen and then i'll specifically speak about if you are applying as a matric in your first year of studies in a second or third year of studies and then in your final year of studies so if you are currently in matric these are the minimum requirements that you need to meet so you need to pass with a b a bachelor degree endorsement you need at least 60 percent in english 60 percent in mathematics unfortunately they also don't take maths literacy and then you have to provide the auditor general with a copy of your id your grade 11 results your grade 12 mid-year results as well as your university acceptance letter then if you are in your first year of studies you need to obtain at least 60 percent in accounting you need to obviously be in a psycho accredited program you need to have obtained at least 60 percent in mathematics and english while you were in matric and then you need to attach a copy of your id your matric results as well as your academic record if you are in your second or third year of studies you need to obtain at least the 60 percent in accounting a 60 percent or above in manic you need to be on a psycho accredited program and you need a copy of your ID and your academic record attached to the application. If you're in your final year and next year you'll be studying CTA, you need to have at least 55% in all of your core modules. You have to have been accepted into a CTA program. You need to attach a copy of your ID, a full academic record and an acceptance letter into that PGDA program that you got into. Next up is NetBank and they cover undergraduate studies at any South African university or university of technology. So it's not just limited to the chartered accountancy designations. In order to be considered, you need to be a South African citizen. You need to show that there is a financial need and this is determined by your household income. So in the year that you're studying, whether it's matric, first year, second year, 
whatever year you are you need to have achieved at least 65 percent in that year of study maths literacy is unfortunately not considered and lastly you need to have received a confirmation of admission into the university that you are going to be studying at the next one i want to talk about is currently closed i think it closed on the 30th of april if not the first of may but you can still go on the site and try your luck you never know and but if it is closed please make sure that you make a note for next year because this is such a great you know bursary opportunity um even myself i wish i had known about it when i was planning to study um but the program that i'm speaking about is the Ellen Gray Orbis Foundation. So this looks for people, for young people who are transitioning into university and it covers a whole array of qualifications. So I'll just pop them up here on screen. But one of them are qualifications within the commerce faculties and you need to meet the following requirements at a minimum in order to be considered. You need at least 60% in mathematics in your grade 11 results or if you did maths literacy then you need at least 70% I'm sweating you need at least 70% aggregate as at your grade your final grade 11 results and this is excluding life orientation in the year that you are applying you need to be under the age of 21 and you need to be a South African citizen so those people who um, have applied and have made it to the next round will be invited to a round of interviews um, during July and then if you pass that round of interviews you will be elected to go on a camp in September this year and from that then they will get you know the final Alan Gray recipients. So the reason why I say this bursary program is a good one is because number one you receive quite quite a reasonable stipend for you know ecostazako like the people that i know who are on ellen gray were living large okay and also like you get all of the best residences um you get tuition costs res meals um books like literally everything is covered but on top of that you get like support in terms of like mentorship um, you get trained in other aspects of life such as entrepreneurship um, there's also some Alan Gray fellows who went on to start their own businesses and Alan Gray actually helped them like in the setting up of that business um, help them you know use their business as a case study and get like experts to weigh in on what they should change and what they um what they can put in where they can raise funding and all of that stuff um so it's an absolutely like just well-rounded um well-rounded bursary program and it doesn't only look at you when you are studying so for the rest of your life you will be within the Allen Gray network and you'll be able to leverage on that network to get jobs to get business to it's just chef's kiss love it so much so if you do have um if you do have the desire to get this bursary make sure that you apply early next year it does close probably around the 30th of of april each year so you need to look at it feb march is when you should start doing your applications but i thought i should put it in here um just so that you can make a mental note of it for next year okay because you know videos are evergreen you can always come back to this video and get um this information because these bursaries roll out opportunities each and every year around the same time so yeah there you have it if you want to be an ellen gray fellow make sure you make a note for next year next i want to talk about the one we've all been waiting for and that is saika's tutuka program so tutuka will provide you with tuition books meals and accommodation and it also much like the Ellen gray foundation follows a holistic approach in terms of 
providing you extra support that you might need so i know to took a students get you know extra lessons and extra tutorials that they do um they get you know special networking opportunities they also get placed into you know your biggest names when it comes to training contracts so it's a very holistic and wholesome bursary to be on so they give you like social and emotional support work readiness and life skills training mentoring counseling just everything that you need all the tools that you need to go out there and kill it as an adult let's get into how you actually qualify to receive the tutuka bursary so you need to be a south african citizen you need to be black or colored you need to be currently in matric or you need to have been out of school for less than two years so those of you who plan to go out and serve a mission for two years or 18 months you can be a recipient of this bursary as well so i thought that was nice you'll also be considered if you are currently studying towards um, a casa undergraduate degree you need to have achieved at least a 60% in mathematics according to your grade 11 marks. You need to have applied at one of the universities that offer psycho accredited degrees that are part of the Tutuka program. A nice thing also about Tutuka is that they actually pay for your NBT. Or was that only when we were studying? I know like when I was looking into Tutuka in matric, they actually also paid for my NBT. So those of you in matric, if you're not aware of the NBT yet, it's a national benchmark test. Um, some universities insist on you having to write this test and it comes at a cost of 175 Rand. So it was really nice of Tutuka that they actually went on and paid for that for us. You need to come from a family who has a household income of 350,000 Rand or less and you have to write the nbt and you need to write it before the end of august and then if you've already written the nbt all you have to do is supply them with your results one thing to also mention applications for the tutuka bursary are currently open so there's no time like the present guys like don't procrastinate um, don't procrastinate these applications they can get quite lengthy so you want to start as early as possible so that you don't meet um, so that you don't miss the deadlines and also to make sure that for those where you need to explain things where you need to write essays that you give it the time that it deserves so that your your application can stick out this is your future we're talking about i'm gonna be big sis on you right now this is your future that we're talking about like it's it's all good and well that i'm sharing this information with you and trying to get you you know trying to get the information that you wouldn't maybe normally get and on a google search to your your phone screens through tiktok instagram youtube uh, you know wherever you are i do try and reach you but you also need to do your part and go and do your own research you need to go and see if this is something that you want to pursue you need to actually sit down and do these applications properly give them the time that they deserve like some of them will need you to do you know five essays they will tell they will need you to tell you about you tell them about yourself tell them why do you want to be a ca so you do need to be giving this like your most utmost attention you need to take this seriously because the reality is not everyone is going to receive a bursary just because the bursaries are out there doesn't mean that everyone is going to receive the bursary so you need to make sure that you are sticking out on paper because number one nobody knows you from a bar of soap all they have to rely on is what you write in those applications and in your motivations and if they can see that you just left this to the last moment and you're not even answering the questions guess where your application is going to end up in the trash that's where it's going to end up so i need you guys as much as like i like to share information in a fun light-hearted way like you guys need to take this seriously please for my sake and for your sake as well you start as early as possible stop procrastinating literally 
especially Ahamba and especially Fuchani. Soon you'll be writing prelims. You won't have time to be looking at bursaries and university admissions. And by that time, Abandu have already gotten like early admission letters and you are going to be stuck with a situation where you are applying late and then you don't get raised and then you don't get the funding and then it's just a slippery slope. So yeah, man, try to carve out time to do all of this admin. It's a necessary evil. I know you had degree admin, but literally it's for your own future. So please do it, I beg you for your own sake. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So the next one that I want to talk about is Mazars. So the Mazars bursary is going to close in November of this year and you need to meet the following requirements. You need to be a South African citizen. You need to currently be in matric or you have already completed matric. You need to intend on studying full time towards a psych accredited qualification. This is both postgrad and undergrad, okay guys. You need a strong academic record and you also need to have a financial need. Then you also need to be committed that afterwards you will be joining Mazars for work experience, which is, you know, training. And then just lastly, I want to share with you guys two sites that you can sign up to where they sort of act as a conduit or like an agent between those offering bursaries and those needing bursaries when we were studying i don't think we had something similar to this um, but i think it's such a good idea because you're able to find all the bursaries within like one site you know it's like a one-stop shop you log in you see all the bursaries they all have you know the same opening date the same closing date and like the application is more or less the same um, and you already will have your details on the site so it's going to streamline the process for you quite a bit okay so the first one that i came across is career wise so career wise offers both bursary opportunities and also work opportunities so on average each bursary looks at your academic performance so you would probably need to get about 70 percent and above and then it also looks at financial need in terms of household income and there you need at least you need um your household income needs to be 600,000 rand or below so yeah these cover a wide range of companies they also have you know some government institutions there that are offering bursaries They've got BEE bursaries, child dependency bursaries. Kuning, just go on the site and see if there are any bursaries or types of bursaries that will entice you, okay? The second site is called studytrust.org.za. So this is also similar. It's working with, you know, a wide range of bursars that are looking for, you know, bursary holders. It opened on the 1st of May and it's going to close on the 30th of September of this year. Now, in terms of the bursary, like the bursary partners that they have, it's quite big names that they've got here. So it's quite interesting, especially for those of you who want to go into finance. So they've got the first rent group. They've got Amazon, Standard Bank, Santum, Toyota, Investec. So it's literally like a wide, wide, wide range of bursary partners. And each of them will obviously have, you know, their own qualification criteria. So if you're interested in any of the partners that I spoke about, that I spoke about, make sure that you go on studytrust.org.za and have a feel around as to what the bursaries are looking for. You do have some time, it's currently May. You have until September to apply, so make sure that you go through all of those and see which ones you qualify for currently and ones that you are going to work towards in your June exams, okay? And yeah, those are the bursaries that I've been able to find for future CASAs. I'm sure there is a lot more out there and I'm willing to go out and find them. So if you would like a part two of this, let me know in the comment section below and also by leaving a like and I'll see you next week for another video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.